It had been a while since I'd been on a backpacking trip, so I wanted to give it a try. Packed up all the things I thought I had to have with one problem. It weighed 51 pounds. Let's go. That's my friend Tony. We decided to get outside for some wilderness therapy like old times. Oh, hell. This looks like a lot of work. So there's this pretty cool trail over in Kansas. Yeah, I know. Kansas. But it's a 15-mile, point-to-point trail. This thing's legit. Is it fair to say I underestimated the trail? Yeah. Completely and utterly. Especially with 50 pounds on my back. Alright, I know what you're thinking. No backpacker in their right mind is going to hike a trail like this with 51 pounds on their back. This guy's an idiot. Well, I can't disagree. In my defense, though, I spent the last several years kayak camping where weight's not an issue, and I just started Jeep camping where weight's really not an issue. Now, we have a rule that camp comes first. Whenever you first get to camp, take care of camp, like firewood, all the things the camp needs before setting up your tent. All right, I don't know these people, but I think we can agree that a hot dog and a campfire go hand in hand, but you need the perfect toasted bun. Now, on a backpacking trip, that usually means the bun gets smashed, but I found the perfect solution. That's right. I know you saw the Pringles can strapped to my pack. Did you really think I love chips that much? Oh, this is all about tradition. The hot dog's just the appetizer. For me, backpacking's all about the freeze-dried meals and the jet boil. But Mountain House lasagna, to me, it doesn't get better. I love breakfast on a backpacking trip, but these freeze-dried meals leave something to be desired. If you bring tortillas and salsa packets that you can get for free from Sonic, it turns a regular skillet freeze-dried meal into something magical on the trail. But all hikes come to an end, and it's time to pack up and hike back out. Luckily, the pack weighs a lot less on the way out than it does on the way in. So at the end of the day, the trail was awesome. But would I hike with 51 pounds on my back again? No. No, I wouldn't.